Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing the final G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes movie, Baroness. Before we get on to removing her from the box and talking about her, we're going to talk about her character. In the original G.I. Joe 1980s cartoon, she was one of the most cunning Cobra soldiers, plus a spy. So Baroness was a spy and a Cobra soldier, which made her the most fearsome among Cobra. In the Snake Eyes movie, she was after... Someone, I can't remember who, it's been a while since I've watched the movie, and she had to recruit Storm Shadow to Cobra. So could we see another G.I. Joe movie with Cobra Commander being the antagonist and Storm Shadow? Possibly. But other than that, we're going to take her out of the packaging. We got the, uh, and look at the box, if I can get her out of the packaging. We just dropped her gun here. But now we're going to look at the box itself. If I can get it to close. Come on. Come on. Cooperate with me, box. Oh, come on. There we go. And here we got the G.I. Joe Classifies box. We got Snake Eyes. G.I. Joe Classifies. The picture of the Baroness on the box. Baroness, G.I. Joe classifies. More artwork. We got the Cobra Insignia. G.I. Joe Snake Eyes. And the Rashi Kage symbol. And more insignias, if you like those, which I do. And that's all there is to say for the package in her itself. Let's look at Baroness herself. Articulation. Her arms can bend, which is pretty cool. Head is on a ball joint, but really tight, and I don't want to break it. It'll take me time to loosen it up, which it loosened up a little bit. Arms move pretty good. Legs bend, but they're really tight. Kick out that far, and I really don't want to break it, so we're not going to risk bending it. It's not going to cooperate. She's got her weapon being this machine gun with an attachment to it. So if we can get her to hold it. So she can go pew pew, bang bang with that upgraded machine gun. Go and it's got a silencer so she can shoot silently, rapid fire. And pull out her machetes because they gave her some machetes in the movie. If I can get her to wield these. Let's see. A little bit stubborn. For machetes, I'll tell you that much. Come on, Baroness, wield your machetes. I'm going to have to do that off camera. It's being a little pain in my neck. Hate it when I got to do that. But sometimes it's required to get her wielding her weapons, which are really, really tight on my copy. I'll tell you that much. They're really tight. But there you got one all done. Man, these weapons were tight to put in one hand. Now we gotta put them in the other hand. Hopefully we can do this without struggling. And we got her wielding both machetes, so she can go slash, 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 slash. And she's got a Cobra Insignia on her belt, which is pretty cool. And I got this figure for $15. If I would have been able to get it for $4, it would have been great. But other than that, it's not a bad figure. And the weapons store, which is pretty cool. You put the machetes in the holsters right there. And they store on her back with, like, real ease. So even when you put her on the shelf, she'll be able to store her weapons. But now we're going to give her her machine gun. And she can dual wield if you want her to. 
And then she could be like, dual wielding machine gun. Eat this, G.I. Joe. If I can get her to hold it. Sometimes it's a pain in the neck to get her to hold stuff, I'll tell ya. But she can go dual wielding. And that's my machine gun impression. It's pretty good. But now we're gonna get down to comparisons, but first we're gonna look at the glasses. They look pretty good if I do say so myself. You can have her without the glasses if you want her to be more classic look. But given this is the movie and she wore the glasses, we're gonna keep her glasses on, on the shelf. Why not? And then I say, why not? We're gonna dig out a Barrison comparison with my first movie, Snake Eyes movie, Baroness, which I do own. So I'm gonna have to put her to the side. Compare the G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra Baroness next to the new one. As you can see, key differences in hairstyle and eyes and body styles. This one is really good. I love it. Definitely glad I have it. But the trick is trying to get her to stand on both her feet. It's tricky enough. If I can get her to stand, we'll get her down to comparisons if I can get her to stand. Let's use the backdrop in the back. Because that's my backdrop and it acts as a good good hold-up position. We're going to compare her next to some other Cobra figures from the Snake Eyes movie. The only one we own is Storm Shadow. So here she is next to bad old Storm Shadow. And we're going to do a close-up Storm Shadow next to the Baroness. They both look really good. And now for some Joe comparisons. Here we got Scarlet next to the Baroness. This is not the G.I. Joe classified Scarlet, but still, it's a nice figure and in the scale of the G.I. Joe classifies. Here we got Akito next to Baroness wielding her dual swords. And last but not least, Snake Eyes, because that's why we bought these. Is a G.I. Joe Classifies Baroness worth adding to your collection from the Snake Eyes movie? If you started to collect these as much as I did, they're worth the money. A whole lot of fun to mess around with, and definitely some awesome figures. Do I got plans to get any more? Yes. I will be going to my local, my big Ollie's out in... Monroeville, sorry if I had to think about that, and we're going to hunt down some G.I. Joe Real American Heroes classifies for the collection. And if you are a G.I. Joe fan as much as I am, then pick these up. They're worth the money, and I'm so glad to finally own a complete set of G.I. Joe classifies Snake Eyes movie figures. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like Please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on, and rock out, YouTube land.